35-year-old Sibo Manadeo works as an accountant at a local hotel here in Bujumbura. When I first came to Bujumbura, I was in university because I had to work in order to put food on the table. I took up a job as a teacher while still in school. Then I got this job when I graduated. Since April 2015, jobs have been hard to come by. Sibomana counts himself lucky. When the riots were going on, I was here at the hotel, just watching. Life was tough then. At the end of the day, Sibomana returns to his two-roomed house, where he lives with his wife and two sons. Life has changed since then. Before, a two-roomed house like this would cost about 80,000 Burundi francs. Today, that price is what you get for one room. Though poor, Burundi was known to be one of the cheapest countries to live in within East Africa. This seemingly affordable life is one of the qualities that encouraged people like Alan Mwati to relocate years ago. Now because of uh, 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 political instability, I would say that, uh, you know, so there has been a reduced uh, a movement of people in terms of, uh, you know, trying uh, to move with their businesses. Yeah, especially, of course, we need to understand uh, the fact that uh, uh, most Burundians are get uh, their commodities either from Tanzania and, uh, and, and Uganda. So there has been a, a kind of, you know, that movement has been uh, affected. More than a year since the political crisis, Bujumbura is slowly getting back on its feet. There is relative security. However, average Burundians are finding it very difficult to afford basic commodities. I usually take my wife to the market. The prices are much different now. Five kilograms of maize used to go for 5,500 Burundi francs. Now that bag goes for 9,500 francs, almost double. Tomatoes that would cost 300 now cost 1,000. And a kilogram of rice that would cost 1,500 now costs 2,000 depending on the quality and brand. Since 2010, Burundi has recorded an annual growth of 4%, according to the International Monetary Fund. The economy shrunk by 7.4% in 2015, taking Burundi from the world's third poorest country to the poorest, with now a GDP of $315.20 per person. I'm lucky I have a job. I can only imagine how life is for those who are unemployed and have no money. In late 2016, the government announced the tax collection rose by 23% in November compared to the same period in 2015, exceeding initial forecasts. The country's tax authority collected 55.5 billion francs, up from its target of 49.9 billion francs, and the 45.3 billion francs it received in November 2015. As the new year begins, Burundians hope that 2017 will bring with it a more affordable life. Catherine Omwando, CGTN, Bujumbura, Burundi.